So let's uh, start using Soundbox. This is the easy to use guide. Uh, first of all, the desktop. Once your computer opens up, the password for Soundbox is hello. Let's open it up here. Give it a second, and off we go. So we log on with hello. And let's go straight to the music desktop. Let's see how we uh, we play here. And there we are. There's a line of carts all down here. Over here is your running order where you drag and drop items to play. Three carts below. Uh, automation you won't see, but I'll show you how it works. So, uh, on the left here, artist, title and length. All your music can be seen as artist, title and length. If you click on them, if you go to artist, it shows everything that's there. But also if you click on each of the catalogues of music, there are five different catalogues. 2014, 15, Christmas, Gold Music, Now is two decades of, of uh, Now albums, uh, one for each year, so that's uh, 20 years of hits on there, and on air music with a huge uh, expanse of about 3,000 or so. So let's take one of these, uh, let's take a JLS song, and all you do is drag it and drop it, and there it is ready to play in that cart. Let's uh, pick a Now one, drag that across into there. Let's pick another one, uh, 808 State, and drag that into there. The green lines in between your running order here, that says continue, and if you click off it, it says stop, so that means that that song will stop after that, you can talk or whatever, uh, or you can automate it on, so that you've got a continuous run. So let's play this first one, turn it up. That's playing. If we wanted to jump to the next track, you just hit again your cart here. This has also had uh, its timings adjusted. You can see it's counting down an intro, so you can uh, talk up to the vocals if you want to by saying you're playing with Soundbox and this is level 42. Yeah? If we just hit re -cue, which is the bottom there, it just cues it up ready to play again. So it's very easy. Your categories of music here, and that's your running order over here on the right. If you click Jingle, then there's lots of categories here of jingles, interviews and features. You can drop all those into your running order, reports, Christmas jingles even. So all you do again in the same way, once you click at the top category here, jingle, uh, you just take like something like gold uh, clips or we can do new station jingles, drag and drop a jingle into your running order there. And uh, interviews and features charity interview we can drag and drop that there so you'll have two pieces of music play then a jingle then the charity interview and again you can just build up your running order you can toggle down with these buttons here or it'll take you right to the end of the running order you can go up the running order but wherever that play button is that's what's playing when the system is stopped you can move it down so if you've played level 42 decide not to play 808 state and go straight to the charity uh, interview you could actually just drag and drop to say the jingle and you talk normally, play the jingle. Who do you love best? <coughs> Garrison FX. Well, let's catch up now on another. Point. There's the charity interview uh, playing there. So that's how the running order works. You drag and drop those across. The carts, there are three across the bottom. We have them configured. You'll receive this with the three configured on one sound card. Again, you can change it all around, have them all split up separately. We found it easier that you're only playing one at a time normally. So if we put Station Jingles here, we'll click on Station Jingles, drag one and put it in cart number two. And that, uh, if that was plugged into the speaker, you'd be hearing that now, and drag and drop. So those are the carts. You might find it's easy that you, you might put your weather jingle or news jingle um, in or, and just leave it in most of the hour because you'll be using that every hour. So that's very simple how the carts work. And again, you can just hit re -cue like you did with the top one to queue it up. Automation is something you don't see, but I'll show you how to program it in just a moment. If we go to menu, toggle automation, I've brought that up, it says running order, cart order, toggle record, toggle automation, you just press that once, and as you can see here, automation is running. That comes out of another sound card. It doesn't appear on here, but it comes out of another sound card, and you'll hear what's playing from it. Stop the automation, so you've left it overnight, you come back in to do the breakfast show, click 
toggle automation. Always have something on standby here because you won't know where you are in it unless you're listening off there. And there we are, we find there's 147 left on this track. So your option is if you come in just before the news, fade it out just before the news, or if you're in at 10 to, have a couple of tracks here to fill. Let this fill, let this finish normally in its normal time and then play a couple of tracks after it. So there we are, that will the toggle automation will finish in 129. So basically you've got three outputs. You've got the running order here where you just stack all the things you want to play back to back or break to talk. You've got carts and then you've got toggle automation which can run your radio station 24-7. And I'll very quickly show you how we program it. If you go to menu, main menu, We'll go to schedule setup. There's an hour for seven days of the week, so 24 times seven. And they're all set at default. So, how do we change the default clock if you like? Very easy. We click on it there and come down to edit, which is you just about to see at the bottom of your screen. There's edit, and there's a list of all the items basically, the different catalogs. So, it'll play something in the hour from gold music followed by on air music by now by a station jingle two ads and proms to change it you come over here you pick your music or pick your jingle or pick the category of other there's nothing in there or you can pick yeah, individual carts if you like so if you pick music here you can go through it's going to take some looking unless you type in uh, unless you type it in there or you pick a jingle spe one specific jingle or here you pick the catalogs basically the categories uh, and then I click OK that, and that's default set everywhere. You can have uh, different defaults, you can have different names for all your schedules, just save it as a different name if you've changed it, uh, and then you can have that for whatever hour of the day or night uh, that you want. And it'll just play continuously until you end the automation. So that's how you program that. The, uh, let's have a look at the hardware setup. There are three sound cards on this. And it's just basically a via drop down list that shows all the outputs of the sound cards. So we've chosen the C Media sound card to do the three card machine one, two, three. Number four only appears if you have a button box. The running order is played out of the onboard Sound Max sound card. And the automation plays from the third sound card, that is at the Santa Cruz Turtle Beach sound card. So again, you can have these three on different faders, different channels on your mixer. Now, if you want a pre fade cart or just the end of cart, we've got the um, C Media device sound card used for that. That means you'll have to close the fader on your carts on Soundbox, otherwise that will go out. And the audio input, so if you want to record voice tracks, is on the input of the Santa Cruz card. And for the input for voice tracks or anything else, uh, there's two ways to do this. You could, for instance, pick the mic input and have just a a separate mic on a cable that you pick up to do voice tracks uh, to build up running orders or you could have uh, a feed of the prefed of your mic from the mixer that's more complicated to set up so that's up for you to decide if indeed you're going to use voice tracks so hardware setup decides where your sound cards are but that's the way it's set up for you uh, right now so uh, let's have a quick look at the general setup that tells you uh, where you can change your password what type of voice tracks. We do recommend that you use 128 KBS, 44.1 kilohertz, um, MP3s for all of your files. If you don't, it may give you unusual timing. So that's set that as your, as your standard. And you can also set up to sweep over uh, voice tracks, but this is something you'll need to experiment with. If you play voice tracks, it will play over the intro uh, of uh, music. But that's uh, for you to try that one. Uh, let's go back to this. Location admin, ads and promos are stored in D, D drive, audio one, ads and promos. And you can actually store audio anywhere and store it under any catalog, but uh, it makes administration easier if, for instance, you keep all your interviews in the interviews folder. And then the catalog is basically the way the, uh, the nice brightly colored collections, if you like. Uh, and again, if you keep your, uh, your files in the right folders, it all makes it a bit simpler. Uh, for instance, if we look at the catalogues here, um, ads and promos we have in pink, you can change the colour, the text, whatever, of these catalogues. And these catalogues are only within the administration of Soundbox. So that's, uh, that's that. Uh, and our next lesson will show you uh, how to uh, alter tracks, the endings of tracks, uh, the cue points, uh, and a couple of other things as well.